Welcome back to Girl Talk No Filter. I am your host, Tara Leisha, and today I have one of my other best friends, Angel, with me today. Say hey, Angel. Hi. My name is Angel, like she said, and you can follow me on um, Snapchat or Instagram, number one angel, that's N-U-M-B-A, one A-N-G-E-I-L. All right, and as always, we're going to jump right into the show, and that's going to be with our heart to heart. All right, so um, I had a question from Anonymous about kissing. Basically, this is her issue. She is dating someone new, but he is a horrible kisser. Oh, my God. And she asked me to discuss it, and what do we do or how do we handle being with someone who is n- not a good kisser. What about you, Angel? Um, kiss is not really important to me. Really? I can go without I can go without a kiss. Like a peck is I'll be fine. Mm. That's not the most important thing um to me. Kiss just, you know, kissing. I am a kisser. I love kisses, but I'm kind of with you. I I I I'm a, I don't mind just getting a peck. Like, to me, that's still kissing. Mm-hmm. But I've never really been in a situation where the person I was with was not a good kisser. Um, but how can you teach? Like, you know, as a child, you're learning. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're learning, like, okay, let me learn how to kiss or whatever. Right. Like, is it sloppy or is it just, like, closed mouth? Like, she, I can't do the clothes like, like, the, like, yeah, like, <laughs> like, let me get in there. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. I don't think it's possible. I mean, I think you can tease somebody, but her issue is he's a sloppy kisser. Like he's just oh, like see, I don't do saliva. I don't. Like, I, don't I don't like. Don't saliva. do like. Does you doing too much? <laughs> yeah, um, I can't do that. I don't know. I I I I kiss for everything. Like you win the game on Madden, give me a kiss. Madden cheating. Oh, I know, baby, give me a kiss. Oh, I love you, baby, give me a kiss. <laughs> you get on my nerve. <laughs> Kiss. <laughs> so for me, kissing is important. So if you don't know how to kiss, I we just like. But a pet, I mean, but I could do that and have a. I but no, but the thing about your intimate moments, like if you feeling it and he just fucking up the groove with this terrible ass kiss, and you're gonna be like, bro, just you know what? Stop. Don't even. Don't worry about it. Don't, so I, mean, I think that's how I, I would be. Like, I mean, yeah. If it's if it's sloppy, I can't do. I can't. I don't like saliva. Yeah. So if it's sloppy, I can't. I can't. Yeah, you just killed the whole mood. Right. She uh she said basically she tried to like show him how she wanted it done. Just mm-hmm. just like no I don't I guess just normal kissing just but she's like his mouth was on top of her mouth. <laughs> and he was like, I don't I see I got uh, the problem. I think I got the problem. I got I got <laughs> nice size lips too, but I'm gonna kiss you right. True. If I see I, I'm good with knowing my lips are big. So yeah. I think I mastered the thing. Like if somebody lips are smaller than mine, right? Then I right. just go go straight to sucking the sucking the lip. Right, give me I a just lip. go straight to sucking the lip. Like give me a lip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, um. What's been your worst kiss? Do you remember your worst kiss? Yes. What? <laughs> what happened? I, it, it was the closed mouth <laughs> thing. I'm like, uh, like I'm. You know. You know. When you was younger, you know, you did the tongue thing. Like you. Suck your tongue and like wiggle it around or some shit. <laughs> so like it was like let me in, like oh my god, you know what I'm saying? He was just like, I was like, I can't, I can't. What I'm supposed to do with that? Right. My worst kiss was in high school. He kissed me like, <laughs> like just kept moving his head. I'm like, he he said because seen it in the movies. I was like, I was I was like, whoa, what's going on right now? I was so confused, and I was just kind of like, <laughs> like I couldn't catch the groove. I was like, <laughs> like what That's beat true. are we on? <laughs> <laughs> Do not kiss like that, y'all. We just lip to lip. I'm good with like, a peck. Just yeah. peck, like peck me. Like I like forehead kisses, nose yes, kisses, cheeks. Yes. Like just peck me. Just let me yes. know it's like this. You know what I'm saying? Just, yes. It ain't even got to all the time. Yeah, like, hey, babe. Like, just. And if we in a more intimate moment, then you going to have to be take able to care. Take, just take it here. This, yeah, just, yes, that's, that's okay, too. So that's fine. Like, yeah, just miss this part and just take it here. Maybe if he's sloppy, mm. it'll feel better right here. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all, this is off topic, but when she said that, 
Fellas, you know I'm going to tell y'all what y'all need to stop doing? Stop the licking in the ear shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Girl. I'll be like, what are you trying to do? That's the way Girl, and then, like, they, like, suck your ear. <laughs> you know? Like, stop. Like, they, Girl. It dries it up. I'm just yeah. telling you. I don't know just any girl up. who likes that. I don't like it. Margo doesn't like it. Mika like doesn't it. like it. Myisha like it? She probably don't I'm like that shit either. Nobody likes that <laughs> anymore. Stop like, that shit. We're not twelve. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my earlobe. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so that is our first heart to heart to anonymous. We sorry for you, boo. Maybe like Angel said, maybe you should just direct him to kiss somewhere else and, and stick to like the peck. Like do a peck with him. Yeah, I think that works. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move into our second heart to heart. This comes from a message from our Facebook page. If you aren't already following us on Facebook, it is facebook.com slash girl talk no filter. And it comes from our boo, Joel G. This is what he says. First, he says he would like to say that he loves the show and he loves my music, that it's dope. And he has this question. He says, most women nowadays are shallow and are only going for dudes that have a nice physique, but with a mess of attitude, leaving the average Joe, even though knowing that they will be treated right. What I'm trying to ask is, does a man have to have muscles to be appealing to women um, to get a moment of their time? What do you think, Angel? Let's talk about <clears throat> muscles. I'm not a muscle girl. Me neither. Like, sometimes that, I'd be like, ugh. Like, yeah. it, especially if it's, like, way too much. Yeah. Like, and I hate the guys who, like, big at the top and then, like, yes. real skinny when they get to the bottom. Like, that irritates the yes. snot out of me. I'm, like, I don't, I don't know. Some girls are superficial and they like the man with the, mm-hmm. like, the big man that's going to come mm-hmm. save the day or some shit like that. Like, mm-mm. I don't care about a muscle or a, I, give me a stomach. Yeah, just a little just bit. A little bit. I like my man. Me personally, this is just my body preference. Uh, I like him tall, skinny, and just slightly built. Like I don't want you to look like you're going to like beat my ass up. Like that's <laughs> that don't work for me. I don't like, like the big stocky niggas. Like, <laughs> like if we get an argument, yeah, I'm all the way. I'm just scared. Yeah. Just off GP because yeah. of the way you look. Like, yeah. no, I don't want to do that. Mm-mm. So no, Mm-mm. me to answer your question, Joe. I think it depends on the woman. Um, I mean, but everybody likes what they're... Everyone has a type. Or yeah. or not really. I really don't have a type. I mean, but some they people... They have a preference. In they have a yeah. preference. So, some people have types. And if you are not their type, then, you know, then that's not the person for you. If, you know, I don't know what Joe's type or what his body um looks like or he's whatever. Pretty, he sticks it. Let's look at him. Okay. One I mean, I, I just feel like... Um, I will say, like, it, it, you know, in response to what you said, just because a man has a nice physique doesn't mean that, you know, he's a good he, guy. that he's, no, he said that he has a mess of attitudes. I know a lot of guys with some great bodies, with great personalities, are mm-hmm. still good guys. But mm-hmm. I will say for you, um, muscles to a certain extent are appealing, but that doesn't mean that that's going to make you the man that any woman chooses. Exactly. Mu- having muscles doesn't make you any more man than someone who doesn't have muscles. So I just think that everyone has a preference or they like what they like. So if you're not what she likes, then right. you need to find somebody who likes you for how you're built and the person that you are. Right. So I hope we answered that question for you, Joe. And again, thank you for watching the show and thank you for listening to my music. I appreciate it. All right. So we're going to go ahead <laughs> and jump into today's talk topic. <laughs> now, this... I need a drink. <laughs> this is this tea. comes from... One of my snappers, a natural black man, he asks, for the ladies, would they prefer a man with a big dick, but he broke, or a little dick, but he wealthy? How little? I'm like, is it like, I mean, how broke is he, though? <laughs> it's like, like are we a box broke, or is he like, check like, to check broke? Check to check broke, is he grinding, like, like negative like, account broke, or like, we can't take trips broke, like, where, how broke is he? <laughs> I don't okay, that's, first of all, let's talk about Lil Dick and Wealthy. Oh, my God. Okay. I think I'd rather, if I had to choose between the two, 
I'd rather deal with a smaller penis with a wealthier pocket. This is me being honest. For how long? Real. For how long? Oh, Honestly. Can we but buy a dick? <laughs> <laughs> is he going to be offended if you try to buy a dick? Like, uh, I don't know. I, just, I mean, y'all know y'all be having it. On the cool though, I don't like no real thing. big dick. I think we talked about this on the show before. No. The real okay. big dicks is no, not no. me. So. Okay, I think he's talking about drastic. Like, drastic. I just, I seen a dick. No, I'm talking about like little, little, like little. Oh, There's people out here with like. Little, oh, little. he's not talking about like the normal little. He's no, he's little, not talking. Come on now, no. If, a, <laughs> if if he had a normal size dick, like of course everybody gonna choose that. I think he's yeah. talking about like little. Nah, I can't fuck with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was waiting. I was like, really? Nah. I gotta, okay, well, I, me like. <sighs> <laughs> Like, can we build and just have a foundation that we can build on? Right. Cause we, can, we can get. I, I, I'm with you on that, sister. Like, we he broke now, but we can get. I mean, he got a build, He got a little. Like, can we sell it? <laughs> can we make some money? <laughs> I just can't. I, I can't. I'm, I, I, I have to be. I have, I have to be, be sexually, sexually satisfied, satisfied yes. for somebody to hold my attention. Yeah. Oh man, that is a great question. If, if that's what we're doing, like if, if if I'm with someone and we're having sex, okay. For instance, let's say if you're with somebody and y'all are not having sex uh -huh. and you really really like him and he's mm -hmm. he ha he has his stuff together, like he he has everything to get going for him, and then you find out he got a little dick. Like that's the same thing. What do you do? Sip your tea. I ain't shit. I ain't shit. <laughs> I ain't shit. I can't do it. Like I'm. I have to be. Sexually That's like my satisfied. worst nightmare. I have to be sexually sad. That is the worst night. And then you really like them, and then you like, damn. That would turn you off so quick. But like, no, but see me, I'm, you be like, come to girl, like we're going on this trip. I think I'm gonna give. See, some. but if we kicking in, you know, you 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 be checking for it. You be like. You know, trying to. Just to see you be nasty, nasty clearly. Like, you nasty. <laughs> like, so funny, right? Like I, I wanted you to. I want to be able to see what that thing look like in them basketball shorts. I'm saying, I'm saying, just because y'all are not having sex yet doesn't right. mean that you can't look at it, right? And see what it is. So, ladies, let us know. Would you prefer a man with a big dick, but he broke? Or a little dick, and he's well dick. Hmm. All right. That was a good one. That was. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> all right. Confused. So, um, yeah, we ain't shit, clearly. We're going to go ahead and jump into our second top topic. And this is what I read on Facebook. It says, if your man picks you up from work, but he has a female friend with him, uh, he's his business partner, and she's sitting in the front seat, what do you do? You put that bitch in that bag. <laughs> what do you mean? First of all, don't, don't have me walk outside my job or wherever you picking me up from and there's somebody else in the front seat. Wait, what's I happening? I give a damn who she is. Wait, if my man is picking me up with a girl in the car, I'm going to need y'all to talk about this on the way. You know when my girl in the car, you're going to get in the back, right? That, boom, or, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and jump back there. Boom. Dude, I'm going to be I bad I should have to come out. Outside. I exactly. I, I shouldn't have to come outside and say, a motherfucking thing. Like, you should have that ever <laughs> overstood, like, Oh, stuff. And if sure. not, I'm gonna open the door and like I'm not sitting in the back. Come on. Are you kidding? Come on. Can you imagine sitting in the back seat? Stop it. Right? You in the back. Stop it. Right? It's stop Your it. man driving <laughs> and then his business partner, girl, business partner, is sitting in the front seat and you just chilling in the back and they having a whole conversation in the front seat and you gotta try to feel like you included so you sit up a little bit. I don't even know what that means. No. Oh, Which okay. I I don't sleep. So. No, we're not going to do that one. No. What no. I'm going to do is nothing because I expect my man to have already had that handled. And if I had to walk out to the car, is this my car? Who car is it? <laughs> it don't really matter. <laughs> Wait, if it's my car, everybody get in the back seat. If, if it ain't uh, understood, by the time I get outside, everybody get in the back seat. Oh, my God. Everybody. I'll be Fellas, driving. do not do this to your girlfriend. Do you know how long y'all going to argue about this? She going to bring it up every time every she day. Mad at you. Every time she see your business partner. <laughs> Oh yeah, remember you let her um right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Don't even put yourself in that situation. I already have it understood that, or if you if you feel like you're the type of man that can't like I can't tell her I don't know how to do it, but don't bring her. 
This your business partner. What you mean you don't know how to tell her? Don't bring her. No understanding. Don't bring her. The some problem. men, but some men Sister. don't know how to talk to women. <laughs> don't that's, bring her. That's probably single. <laughs> We're fucking crazy. Is that crazy? <laughs> yeah, just thinking when we just we get mad, just thinking. <laughs> The fuck you mean? What you talking about? How Why is she in the front seat? What? Why is she in the front seat? Like you just gonna, we just you just ruined the business right there. I don't fuck with Ain't no more business partner. I don't fuck with her no more. <laughs> business is gone. Fuck the business. So, ladies, let us know what you would do if your man picked you up from work and his female business partner was sitting in the front seat. What would you do? And did not move. First of all, why would you not move, girl? If I, I wouldn't dare be a male's business partner. He going to pick up his girl. I would have understood in my mind that I'm already be in the back seat. Yeah, you going to pick up it, your girl probably in y'all's car. Right. Whatever, like, it don't matter who. So car I feel like if a bitch is sitting in the front seat, she trying to prove you a feel point. entitled. Yeah. Boom. Get your entitled ass in the back seat. <laughs> That's what you do. Even if you, even if you secretly decide, bitch, get your ass in the back seat. You know your position. Play it, <laughs> girl. So, all right. Let me gather myself. Whew. got me hot. <laughs> no, we don't play them type of games. We don't play the games at all. Bitch, I'm in the car. I'm in the car. I don't want to die. I'm in the car. I'm in the car. And you're like, bitch, can you believe this one look got this bitch in the front seat? Bitch, meet me at the house because I'm feeling like I'm feeling like, like what? <laughs> so the bitch wouldn't get in the back? So who the fuck is she? Mm. Tell who me. Who the fuck is she? Tell me. Stop it. Yeah. All right, so moving on into our girl talk, love talk. Angel, you want to go ahead and talk about it? All right, so ladies, how many second chances do you give an ex? Like, how many times? Like, let's say that you were in a relationship with someone and you moved on, you went to another relationship, you went to another relationship, or whatever the case may be. Would you ever go back? To an ex. Because it technically that's giving him another chance. Right? Right or wrong? You're right. So would you ever go back to an ex that you dealt with in the past? Um, just because, you know, some women fear moving on. Right. You know what I mean? What do you think? Um, <clears throat> I want to say just based on my exes. I think we've gone through too much for me to go back. At this point, before, mm -hmm. I probably have been like, yeah, you know, let's see if we can work it out. But I feel like I know who you are. You know who I am. I, From our experiences, I don't feel like there's somebody I could be with. Okay, so you what if it's somebody that? that you dealt with when you were in your early 20s? And has, as you have grown, right? Mm -hmm. What if he's grown as well? Mm -hmm. You already know his family. Mm -hmm. You already know what he's about. You kind of already know what the sex is like. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you ain't got to meet a new guy and take an L. <sighs> <laughs> so, what if, like, everything that, that what if everything that y'all went through, which y'all went through, but everything that you're seeing that he's doing now is up to par with what you want in your life? Would you go back? Mm -mm. If I'm just speaking, I have two ex boyfriends. I think we talked about them on the show. Um, the first one was when I was 20. I think, like, between 20 and 23, maybe. And since then, he's had, like, three kids with three different women. So, there's I don't feel like there's anything he could do for me. And I know he's changed. He's You know, he's what he should have been when we were together. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, I wouldn't go back. And then the the last ex, we just, he just did too much. I got, like, 3,000 reasons why. Well, <clears throat> you know, with me saying that, I wasn't agreeing that I would, mm -hmm. but um, I don't. Based on the exes that I have, I don't. I don't think I would. Just because you know, when when I'm when I'm in a relationship, like I, I give them my all. Right. You know what I mean. So if that means accepting the bullshit that came with it, mm -hmm. and accepting it, and accepting it, and accepting it, mm -hmm. and dishing out bullshit, and and receiving, right. You know, a bunch of bullshit as well. Like I just think that. You know, if we separated and we moved on, and mm -hmm. I and I and I believe that you know, oh, if you always say when you in love with somebody, like you let it go and it come back, then it's, and yeah. come back, then it's mm -hmm. real. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But after a certain, like, it's only so much, so much you can take as a woman. You know right. what I mean? So if that person did something to you, 
or made you feel a certain way and it made you feel bad enough to exit the situation, right. then I don't I don't think it's a good idea to go back. Yeah. Even if that person, I don't I just don't I really just from my personal experience, I just don't think anything ever changes. And I think even if it did change, I think for a lot of women and men too, you, you still remember when the shit was bad. So you might still have trust issues. I just don't. I don't see the benefit. The I've thing. tried. I I've tried a lot. That's like, the thing. You know this. Like I tried a lot. Yeah. And it just yeah. It That's just the thing. You're work. gonna have memories because even if you go back to that person, it's gonna be something that that person does that's gonna remind you of what they did in the past right. that made you leave them. You know what I mean? Like, and then you're going to be like, this the same shit, you know what I'm saying, you was doing before, and you know what I'm saying? So, I, I just don't, I'd rather have, you know, just leave, let bygones be bygones, and start out fresh, you know? Right. You know, we always hate, you know, meeting new people, and going through the life stories, and explaining this, and explaining now, that. Now, I will say, sometimes that's exciting, the though. thing that makes you want to go back. Yeah. Because if you taking them L's, you be like, oh, no, see, ex babe when do, like, he know me, I know him, like, I just want to... Because I think that's what kept me going back when I tried to move forward. Like, there's nobody did it like him. Because dating is, yeah. Dating, dating is bullshit. This shit sucks. Oh, you be like, and you be comparing. Oh, my, oh God. my God. You be like, bro, like, why are you doing that? Like, I be comparing, like, my ex would never do that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> he you would know, never do that. This is, this is my honest to God issue with dating. My first date with the second Gemini was so fucking bomb. Go ahead. It was bomb. Like, the date was, like, seven hours long. Mm. We went to Razoo's. We talked for so long at Razoo's, like, they kicked us out. Mm. And then we sat and talked in the parking lot until, like, the lights went off. And then I talked to him the whole way home. And then, literally, we, like, talked, like, till we fell asleep. Mm. So, the he set the fucking bar. The standard kind of high for the first day. So, I'm not going to, like, the, oh, my God. Yeah, I went on this date. Couple weeks ago, it was it was just so bad. Oh my god, it, it was so bad. And it's like I try not to compare, but I was like, this shit is weak. Like I want to go. I'm thinking about like what I got to do the next day. Like that's not um, a good first date. Like no. so that type of shit make you want to go back to ex. But overall, don't do it. For me, I already know how it's going to end. Like it's mm -hmm. the same, the same story. Dating is hard, but you you know you have to think about when you met these exes or when you were going out and meeting the person that you was in love with, uh -huh. you had to go through some dating processes. So you'll find whoever you need to but find. But think about it. Like, if we're being honest, <clears throat> if you take each of your ex-boyfriends that you were, like, in a legit relationship with, right? Mm -hmm. Those first dates kind of set the bar for what you're going to be. Because if that date wasn't good, they wouldn't have been your boyfriend. Right. So it's hard to even say, like, say that because, it's like, if the date wasn't good, then I just feel like, and I'm, I'm always open to second chances because they may have been like just well, a bad first date. Well, sometimes it wasn't even a date. What you mean? <laughs> it was just a person. Like <clears throat> I didn't go on a date. Like let's go out on the date. Like I, I me, mean, I was younger. You know what right. I mean? But it was like let's not let's go out on a date. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's their personality. Sometimes yeah. it's other things. But you know, it's yeah. not always let's yeah. go have a date. Yeah, that's true. You know Gem let's, Gemini number one. It was his personality. Yeah, he just, was so funny. Yeah. And just I, I just really liked him. But guys nervous. get nervous. Yeah. So they No, nah, he was so fucking confident. Like that mm -hmm. that's what really drew me to him. Okay. He was just like confident as fuck. I was like Matter You fact, think that you're doing it right? <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> and then like no, like the like one of the first times like we uh like met up, like face to face. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't smoke cigarettes up, blacks and all that other shit. And um he he, he lit up a black. And I was like, ew. I was like, you gonna put that out? He was like, no. What? Smoke and everything. So I, like, I drove off. I was like, oh, okay. I, I, I called myself trying to prove a point. We called each other at the same time. He was like, so you really gonna leave? I'm like, now I'm coming back. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was just like, it was just him. It, like, somebody else probably would not have been able to do that. I would have kept driving. But you know, like, you take certain things from certain people, especially when they spark when they spark something in you, and it could it it you it could be little things that you said. I'm you will never date a man like this, or you'll never date a man that ain't got this or ain't got that. But it's certain things in in a in a man <clears throat> that just you can't let go of. You know yeah. what I mean? Ugh. Yes, the girl. memories are haunting. Goddamn me, girl. Let me drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let us know what you guys think about moving on and going back. 
or just keeping it moving. I'm going to keep it moving. I think I'm more excited about meeting somebody who's going to do the right things the first time opposed to trying to do the right thing the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, yeah. tenth time. Yeah. Dating can be hard, but it can be exciting. Yeah. I agree. All right. So, moving into our favorite portion of the show, girl talk, sex talk. Hmm. And this week, I am mixing it with girl talk, snap talk. Y'all, this is a let good me, one. Let me get my stuff. All right. <laughs> so, this is a, the question that I received. If a dude wants his girl to swallow every time they did it or she went down, do you think that's okay? Now, check out the question that I asked my snappers. Ladies, if your man wanted you to swallow every time you went down on him, would you? Same question to my fellas. If your girl goes down on you, do you require her to swallow each and every time? If she said no, she wouldn't, what would you do? All right, so that was the question posed to my Snapchat and Angel Snapchat as well. And now we're going to share some of the responses. But before we do, I want to answer the question for myself. No, I'll let you go first. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, hell no. Uh, <laughs> I no. can't. Oh, I can't. First of all, like, <laughs> why does it matter? Why do I gotta swallow every time? Why does it matter? Some guys will be like, "Oh yeah, when you know when you when we go down on you and we make you nut, it be in our mouth and we pretty much small swallow." It's not the same. Like it's so different. It's like so it's different. you injecting yourself down my throat. Like no, I can't. Your kids. <laughs> <laughs> like, I I just me personally, I just I just can't. I I would have to like lose a bet, like oh, I gotta suck your dick every day and swallow type shit for me to ever do it every time. I mean, you know, sometimes you be having those moments, those freaky moments. Yeah, I gotta feel like, like it. I want it, like you in the zone. I want it. Yeah, but it's not like it, it's special. It's special. It's certain things that are special in sex that you can you can you're not gonna get every night or every time. And I think those one that's one of those things like it's special. Yeah, that's why I've never with anal. Yeah, me too. Yeah, like. It's we a can't special. do it every day. No, when da- damn sure not gonna do it every day. <laughs> <laughs> Why that? No, <laughs> it's not gonna be every no. day. No, so I, th- I think it's one of those things where you, you know, like when you want to be extra freak- freaky or y'all drunk or whatever y'all do. You know what I'm saying? You want to give him an extra. You know what I'm saying? You gotta blow his mind every right. now and again. You right. can't blow his mind every day. Yeah. Then he gonna be expecting something else and something right. else and more and more and more. You just right. gotta blow his mind every now and again. Yeah. I don't- Swallow it. <laughs> Plus, like, who wants that sitting on their stomach? Like, I don't even want an Emmy all the time. Like, where you want it? On my ass. Like, like it's so thin. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> Me, I don't negotiate. Like, like my bag. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> so wait. You gotta let me know when you <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Let me know when you about you put but wait, are you I'll be watching, I'll be like what you gonna do? Right now? Is it coming? <laughs> yeah, you can tell when they start to get that rhythm. Yeah. You're like Yeah. The moans the rhythm. You gotta learn, you gotta yeah, learn. You gotta man. learn your nigga. You gotta learn your man. Yes, yeah, learn your real, man. Real. You gotta yeah. learn your man. So check out some of these responses. The first one came from my sister that you guys met on the last episode, Mika. She said a straight up and down, fuck no. She's not, she's not doing it. She's absolutely not going to do it every single time. Um, <laughs> Natural Black Man also said, um, Head has never made me come but once in my life, and that was 17 years ago. But it's up to her if she wants to swallow me or not. Wait, wait, what, back up? What? Um, he said that, Head has never made him come but once in his life. That was 17, 17 years. years ago. I'm so sorry. I know, right? Oh, my God. Why you not? Well, I guess maybe he made. Well, we don't know. Maybe he made a stop before. You know, maybe he, like, warmed me up with it and then let me put it in. So we, No, we, I don't know no man that does not want to nut on head. I mean, okay, so we, every time we have cycles. What you supposed to do? Oh, Yeah. Seventeen years is a long time. I know I met I'm I know men who like, you know what, I've never had a girl that made me, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. come during head and I'm like, How? Because so who been playing with? It. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. what it's made for. What do you mean? Right. Like the hell. <laughs> 
Okay. So keep, keep going. How we? Oh, okay. We got distracted. Okay. Uh, but he says, but it's not up to her. I mean, it's correction. But it's up to her if she wants to swallow me or not. I know I'm going to swallow her when I'm going down on her. I don't miss a drop. Mm. And then if she's the type that gets really wet and it drips down to her asshole, I'll lick it from down there too. Well, all right. <laughs> the groceries. All right. So another response that we got for our girl talk, sex talk, slash snap talk is uh, from A1 Go to Chow. She, he skipped correction. He says, now she uh, do it is cool, but if she do, I love her long time. So the men low key, they really want that shit. I'm, <clears throat> okay. I mean, I don't get it, but I'm not a man. Right. So I guess I'm not supposed to. All right. King of Kings FRC says, yeah, she should <laughs> because it's protein and it's good for her health. <laughs> and she don't do it and if she don't do it every time it's cool but I want it done most of the time okay uh, my snapper Xavier Reed now you see all these responses are coming from me mine or two she says hell yes I require her to swallow if she if she say no I'm nutting all on her face <laughs> he gonna what <laughs> nut all on her face that's fine <laughs> <laughs> That I, no, I think I have to draw one. I've never let someone do that. Are you kidding? Never. Oh my god. I just feel like to, I might be no, I think I'm freaking enough, but to me that's just like that's degrading to me. Like that's something you do to like them hoes. No. Like come on a bitch face and she like this shit dripping from her eyelash and shit. No, mm-hmm. something wrong. Just keep uh, it. We're gonna keep going. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um this oh I did get one from a uh from a girl Vernay she says hell I'm not trying to swallow if I want um something thick I'll drink a milkshake for sure <laughs> real shit no, I'm not a swallower I just can't <laughs> and uh my snapper D Sloan says um. Not every time because I want to finish other places too, but five out of ten, you gotta swallow when I finish. And my um, I'll let you read, and I come, I'll come back to my last one. All right. <laughs> so Balenciaga P says um, that you're supposed to don't play with it. That girl or guy? This is a guy. Oh, <laughs> clearly, <Of> course, <laughs> clearly it would say that, right? <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> um, Dane said, no, nah, that's too much. She can catch it, though. Anywhere? Like, put it like right here? I mean, <laughs> she can catch it in her mouth. Like, spit it out. She had to swallow. Right. Right? Right. <clears throat> and then um, Trey said, no, I don't. Or, no, they don't. He said, no, I don't. Laugh out loud. Not at all. So, he don't require it. But I want to. Okay, but he said, but he wants her to come while he gives her head, and that um, that's what he does for his lucky lady. And I and I I would imagine that every man wants their woman to come when he gives her head. It's not the same as a man coming. Speaking of that, fellas, can I just like throw a little something on that? When we tell y'all to stop, 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 stop. Don't keep going. I swear to God, that don't feel good to nobody. <laughs> like, stop this shit. Oh. Like, kiss it, but if you keep going too hard on the paint, <laughs> like, damn. Motherfucker, we uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, another one. Be getting one. mad as fuck. Another one, another one. If we stay, stay there. Oh my God! Don't fucking move, bro! <laughs> <laughs> stay. Fucking there. Stay the there. Why your mouth is getting tied is because you keep moving. <laughs> Just stay there. Stay out. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about you getting locked out. Stay there. <laughs> Fucking tongue tied and everything. Just stay there. It won't take so long. <laughs> She's right. Y'all, Woo. please don't move. And we tell y'all. What they try to do, they need to do something special. <laughs> They're whipping around yes. and going all the way. No, stop. Right there. <laughs> right there. Just a little. God, I hate y'all. 
<laughs> listen, listen. You have to learn. Oh, Whatever, shit, whether it's funny. a man or a woman, you have to learn your mates. By right, because they're no different from when they want us to like when they do anything and they tell us to stop, be still, like or don't we run. Keep going. Where you going? Arch your back. Yeah, we did Stay none there. of that. No, I ain't gonna lie. Leg. Sometimes I do be running. <laughs> like, I, I can't help it. Put your leg up, like nigga. No, let me tell you the difference between what you be saying and what I be saying. That shit hurt. <laughs> I promise. I'm not hurting you. <laughs> You just try to hold back. They be like going hard. You be like, whoa, stop for real. Like, no, nah, you like this shit. No, nah, I really don't. <laughs> so you want me to throw up or not? Like, just stop. Shit. <laughs> Stay there. The fuck? You're right. That's fucking hilarious. Any more responses, Angel? No, that's it. <laughs> All right. My last response comes from uh, my snapper, Mason O'Neill. Um, he says, doesn't really matter to me if she swallows as long as she gives me nice, slow head. I'm good. And he, okay. He asks for us, um, would you prefer God to drink from your fountain? I mean, I think it's only fair if if he could, um, if the guy can return the favor. So if he make you come or wet the bed, do you expect him to keep going? Me personally, I don't. I, like if it's if my fountain starts to flow, <laughs> ease back. And that's not gonna bother me. Oh, you like fuck this shit. You better keep going. No, like, I, I, not keep going, but like make sure it's done. Make sure I'm done. Right. Like once I'm done, and then I, I'm I, when I'm done, I'm very vocal. So right. I'm gonna be like, okay, that's it. Like I'm yeah. gonna be like, okay, yeah. I'm gonna tell you too. Yeah, chill on that. Yeah. All right, so fellas, let us know. Ladies, let us know. As always, you can follow us on Instagram at Girl Talk No Filter, um, on Facebook at facebook.com slash Girl Talk No Filter. And of course, make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Girl Talk No Filter. I am your host, Tara Alicia. You can follow me at Tara Alicia on all social media. Make sure you are following me on Snapchat so you can be involved in our Girl Talk Snap Talk. I do, as always, appreciate everybody for tuning in. I thank Angel for uh, being my co-host for today. I really do appreciate the opportunity. I had so much fun with you guys. Hopefully, I'll be back. We definitely will bring you back when you come back. I will definitely be back. Okay. Yes. You guys, make sure you're sending me questions, heart-to-hearts, uh, sex talk questions, love talk questions, um, whatever you want to talk about. You can email me at girltalknofilter at gmail.com. Send me a message on Facebook. Um, I'll read everything. Um, until next time, peace.